Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back. Oh, dragonfly. Squirrel. Good afternoon. Okay. Bug bug. <laughs> Butterfly. Good gracious. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, welcome back. As promised, we're going to show you guys how we install the household door in our shuttle bus. Yeah, and before we get started, be sure to subscribe if you haven't and click that bell notification because this is the first in a series of videos that we're going to show you in how we do the door, how we do the bathroom, black water, gray water, sink, all of it, you name it. So, um, so stay tuned and let's get started. Okay. All right, guys, um, a little bit of history on this shuttle bus. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the earlier videos. We bought this thing for a really good price. It was a uh, retired airport shuttle bus from, I believe, the Embassy Suites in Minnesota. Um, good news is it was well-maintained. The drivetrain, the engine, transmission, all that's very strong. Uh, it's a V10 uh, Ford E 450 Super Duty. Yeah. Um, real strong running shuttle, but the downside is with all the snow and the salt, we had rust. Um, when we got this bus, it had the double opening doors, typical bus style doors. They did work, they worked fine, um, but when you drove it, the wind noise was incredible. Uh, they're not really designed for highway speed, it's more or less uh, shuttling around, around town. And because of the extensive rust in the uh, stairwell, um, it was not going to work for us. So we got the idea to uh, pull those doors out and put in a standard household door, or pretty much standard. It's one of the standard sizes, household door. Um, it's going to work great for us. Uh, we were able to get the full glass door so we didn't lose any visibility um, for the driver. Um, and I'll show you how we put that in. Uh, but we also had to rebuild the, uh, the stairwell. So Jamie may also have some pictures of that to show you. We ended up cutting out the steps that ran it originally. We cut them completely out. Uh, we rebuilt just a box stairwell instead of trying to duplicate the actual steps for a couple reasons. This actually Here, serves. Why don't you open the door so they can This see. actually serves sort of as a mud room for us. A um, lot more space than the steps that came in. We actually just made a box. So um, she'll show you the pictures. But this is this is plastic here, uh, like a PVC vinyl. But under that, we actually put in steel structure. We welded in. Uh, steel angle, so it's actually been completely rebuilt and is uh, quite sturdy. That gave us a good foundation to put in the door. Um, I don't think we changed the height of it any, but uh, if you have a standard bus, you still should have uh, the ability to do this with very little modification. Um, first off, I'm going to say to this opening without bringing my tape measure out, I think the opening in the fiberglass shell was right at 36 inches, which would be great, um, but for the fact that it doesn't allow any room for any casing, um, which we needed. So I ended up going with a 32-inch household door. I think it's 32, 32 by 79. I bought it at a, <coughs> something kind of like a Habitat for Humanity. Um, so it was kind of a, I don't know if it was new old stock or, or whatever. Um, I actually, I think it had been installed once, but I picked it up pretty reasonable. Um, and we did, I've seen buses that have gone with the, the full solid doors that are considerably cheaper. Um, I wouldn't do that. If you want to get an idea, get inside the bus put cardboard over it and try to look out from the driver's seat and just see how limited your visibility would be. There is a nice window there, um, but it's not going to be helpful at all for oncoming traffic uh, at intersection. So I wanted to maintain the full glass. Um, this is also being a, a code door, it's a, it's a tempered glass. Um, makes it a little bit safer in the event of, a, of it breaking. It's not going to be like windshield glass, but it's still not going not to uh, become 10,000 daggers in the event it breaks and it's double pane glass, so it provides some insulation. Um, what I had to do, I could not buy, oh, I'll take that back. I was unable to locate a frame door, and it worked out better anyway, because I could, I could modify on the go. I just ended up making my own casing for this out of a two by six boards. So it's framed up both sides and down the top with a two by six, and just so happens with the 36 inch opening, and I left this natural for you to see it. This will be, all be caulked and painted, but this, this uh, two by six on each side and across the top with only a, a slight bit of trimming. This is actually a, like a PVC product, uh, like a one by two trim board. With that in place, it fits the 32 inch door and it's very snug. Um, then I simply came back once I had it in, 
I came back with just some you know, commercially available weather stripping and closed the door, had it positioned like I wanted, went inside and put in the weather stripping so it makes a real tight seal. Um, I could probably do a little more of a seal across the bottom, but that's not caused any problem as of yet. No real wind noise. Um, so far, so good. Also, I recessed the door back in a few inches further in than, than the, uh, the bus doors just to get a little more overhang for weather. But again, that has not been a problem at all for us. Um, and I put a slight, there's a slight change in grade of, a, of our floor of our stairwell. A slight slope down. So when your rain hits the exterior here, it runs off the front. And of course, that's a, on top of the steel and the plastic, that's a rubber mat. So it should be there for quite a long time. I'm going to grab the camera now and give you guys a couple close-up shots to kind of show you exactly how I, how I put this in. All right, guys, again, this is, the, uh, this is the stairwell we put in. And Jamie can show you some pictures of uh, how this looked before. Um, when I bought this thing, I had no choice but to climb in and out of the van for the test drive from the driver's side because you couldn't put any weight on this at all. This was completely soft, and uh, I was ready to fall through it. So um, that's all been cut out and welded up behind this plastic, or, or it's a vinyl product. Um, so that's now secure. And then I'll step inside and show you how this looks from the inside. It's really hard to tell because this has already been trimmed out some, but that's actually behind that. It's actually the the two by six, and you can see the you can see the two by six there from here to here. That gives me a nice. Uh, nice wide surface to mount the door <laughs> and it's just simple regular stock hinges nothing too fancy in fact I could have even I could have even routed this in I didn't I it's just surface mounted and this this weather stripping here seals it up nicely for us and that's really it I mean this is a real simple weather stripping you just buy like at Walmart or at Ace um, it's aluminum with the with the foam backing on it uh, and of course just a little bit of trim work I don't know if I can get the light to show you trim work over the top nothing too fancy I mean, if you if you're handy at all and I'm not super handy but if you're handy at all with and there's the dimensions of the doors 32 by 79 full glass that's where they had an inventory um, and the way oh the way this was installed let's see if I can find an open one here we go that I actually drilled through the body of the bus there's actually some steel supports back there and i was able to put in a through bolt let me move this slowly a through bolt on this side i did that up top and overhead two on each side and that's made it plenty sturdy um same on on this side sorry I'm not very good at this video and thing that's up close to. But uh, I'll come back. This will all be caulked and it'll be painted. And I have some additional trim to put around the outside. I've not completed. I have some more body work to do. Structurally, this is all together. I have a little bit of cosmetic stuff to do down the bottom. Pull that back in tight on both sides. And paint it. And we'll be good to go. Love bugs. Good figure. Um, also some rust I just showed you too. Um, most of that surface stuff there, that's just in the light metal. Stuff I had not cut out. But that's basically it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, what makes it cool too is, you know, this, this, this gives us another locking feature. You know, of course we have the deadbolt and the regular handle latch there. That's what the exterior looks like. And again, you can see where I have to do some more um I, I cut out down to here that's a little bit of the the metal backing that's part of the old stairwell I left in for a little bit extra structure um that'll be that's just surface rust i'll clean that off and build that back up fill in that gap here i've got to do the same here clean it up fill in that gap pull the trim back in and it'll all be caulked and painted and it uh should come together all right that's basically it and of course, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer them. So anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this video um, as brief as it probably was. And uh, join us again, what do you think, next week?
Why not? Well, maybe next week, guys. Hurricane's coming. Yeah, we have a hurricane coming, so, you know, we'll see. But we're going to try to get you another video next week, either on the bus or on a trip or maybe just on the hurricane. We'll see. So, um, see you again next week.